So to get started, first I'm gonna go in with the Porefessional from Benefit because <clears throat> I got some big pores. And uh, we need to cover those up. So for foundation, I'm gonna be going in with a mixture of my Dior Skin Forever Foundation and number 010 and my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless and number 112. And I'm just gonna buff it into the skin and I'm using my Morphe M M439. For concealer, I'm going to be going in with an old favorite, and that is the MAC Longwear Pro, Pro Longwear Concealer. This is an NW15. I'm going to put it right underneath the eyes because I got some dark circles, and I want to pretend that they don't exist. Oh, now I'm going to buff that in with a dry beauty blender because I feel like that works better for keeping the concealer on better because sometimes when it's damp, for me, it like takes away the product and leaves like, you could see it and I just want to keep it covered so I'm just gonna dab it into the skin. It's nice and even and then... Now I'm going to be going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW15 to set everything. And I'll be using two different brushes for this. First, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Setting Brush to set under the eyes. Because you want to focus a little bit more powder underneath the eyes. To keep it set throughout the day. And I'm going in with my Real Techniques um, multitask brush and I'm just gonna, you know, powder the rest of my face. And this is a really, really nice powder. For the eyes, first I'm gonna be going in with my NARS Snudge Proof, Snudge Proof, Smudge Proof Eye Primer just to make sure that there's no creasing. I'm going in with Max Paint Pot and Painterly. <clears throat> just to cover up any veinage on my eyes. So first of the eyes, I'm going to be putting down this Lush Cosmetics eyeshadow. This is in the color Happiness. I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to put it right on the base of the eye and smudge it out with my finger. Next, I'm taking this e.l.f. palette and I'm going in with this red, deep red color. Next, we're going to go into the wonderful Stardust palette, and we're going to be using this color called Double Tap, and we're going to use that in the same place, basically, that we used the other red, but we're going to concentrate it a little bit more. golden nugget and I sprayed my brush with fix plus so it's nice and gold lovely I'm just gonna Now 
And I'm going to take just the slightest bit of Showgirl. I'm just going to place it on the outside. And then I'm going to go back in with some double tap. I'm going to run it right along the lash line. I'm going to be using this color right here called Millennial. going in with a MAC PowerPoint eye pencil and engraved because it was there. And I'm just going to tighten. We are going to highlight the inner corner and I'll be using my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Stick in the color Golden Pink because this is my favorite one to put in the corner of my eyes. This is my favorite. Hell, when did I turn Irish? Okay, I'm legitimately proud of myself because my Irish accent has been really lacking and that's really bad because I'm Irish and that was really good. So, I did it, I did it. Now we are going to line the eyes and we're going to using the Kat Von D, Tati Lener. Now I'm French, What is? what am I doing? And I am just going to make a very subtle line. Very tiny wing. I do not want a big wing. Because I want the eyeshadow to be the big kahuna. I'm going in with my new obsession of a mascara and that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I have to go purchase the full size because the small size is running out and it is the most fantastic thing I've ever had in my entire life and I didn't understand why I would want to buy a high-end mascara because honestly like L'Oreal and Maybelline have some bomb ass mascaras and then I tried this one and it's fantastic. And I'm like, ah, it's so good. And it's so worth it. And it makes it so much easier. Like I don't really have to wear false lashes much. Even though I should, but I ruined my good ones for the daytime. So this really helps because And that's the eyes. Uh, yeah, this is the eyes. Okay. Now on to the eyebrows. I'm gonna a little, little, little focus on me. I'm gonna be focus on me. Fo fo focus on me. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to be using this Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Trope and I broke off the end of it because accidents happen and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. If you are wondering, I don't know what I'm doing to my brows. I am just filling them in. I don't really know. Like, I stopped remembering what I was doing. I, I like, if I am being honest. I kind of just do something with my brows and hope that it turns out okay. Then I'll we'll be using the Anastasia uh, brow gel, clear brow gel. There, it is clear, and I just wanna make sure that the brows are not gonna move because if they move, we're all screwed. Okay. Sorry, I'm multitasking. Now 
next step is totally optional, but I like to, oh jeez, take some concealer. I'm using my Max Light Cover Up because it's my favorite to conceal around the brows. And I'm just gonna like carve them out because, you know, I just want to, you don't have to. It just gives me a cleaner edge and fakes like I actually get my brows done all the time. Because I don't. I've probably gotten them done once. With face, we're going to contour using the shade and light palette and we're going to be using this fabulous color, which happens to be my favorite color to contour with. Now to uh, bronze a little bit, I'm going to be using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just going to take this on this big ass fluffy brush. Wait, I'm going to... Let me get them in there. Just going to bronze up the face a little bit. Before we move on, I'm going to contour my nose using the same contour color. To be honest, I just like to, because my nose is pretty big, I like to give the illusion that it's not. So I just take it and I put it right up here. And I just take my finger, blend it out a little bit looks like that and my nose looks a little bit slimmer not too much slimmer but it still looks kind of like smaller oh so for highlighter first I'm gonna go in with my old friend this is the ColourPop stole the show highlighter I legitimately have not used this highlighter in forever so we're using it and I'm just gonna take it on the flat brush like this I'm gonna go into my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in number Lynn. Yeah. Just to set it a little bit, I'm gonna take just a teeny tiny bit of the highlighting shade just to tap it on there. Just to make sure that everything is like. Hey, okay! <laughs> <coughs> Then I'm going to go into an old tried and true, and I think it still is a tried and true, but I just haven't been using it because I'm insane. And I'm going in with Luminoso from Milani. Oh my god, it's been forever. And I'm using my Bare Minerals Blooming Brush. Blooming Blush Brush. every single day. The last thing we're gonna do is our lips and so I put on some chapstick because chapstick is a lifesaver and we are going to first go in with Max Boldly Bare because I have been obsessed with this and just line the lips. with Charlotte Tilbury's Penelope Pink because I mean this is a tried and true for me I love it just to add like a little bit of glossiness I'm gonna go in with this MAC lip gloss in the color Cherry Blossom oh wait oh shit center and kind of yeah. 
I'm going to set my face with the NYX Dew Finish setting spray. And that, my friends, is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.